What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Ashley. I'm D-Rock, my... D-Rock! What? <laughs> I'm Derek. <laughs> <laughs> This is my birthday month and one of the things that I wanted to do for my birthday was go on a little beach trip with our Heartland RV. So we have a Heartland Milestone 370 FLMB and it is a luxurious fifth wheel camper. It's really nice. We're on our way there actually right now and we're going to have ourselves a nice little relaxing beach trip. We're going to eat healthy. We're going to just kind of we're gonna work out on the beach. It's like just gonna be magical. So um, we're on our way to the camp right now. We're gonna get a quick dinner because it's getting kind of late. Literally, this is family time. We're gonna put the phones away. I am gonna vlog, obviously, because I wanna show off our camper. Here she is. She's a beauty. So if you guys have been following us from the beginning, you know that we actually full-time lived in our RV for four months, four-ish months. And then we ended up falling in love with Florida and just wanting to settle down here really early. Been enjoying the camper a few times a month, even though we are living in a stationary house. And I know a lot of people that do that after they do full-time, they like to keep a hold of the camper because the lifestyle is so much fun. But I figured I would give you guys a little tour tonight because it's been a while. I don't think I've ever posted really a full tour except for the first time we got the camper back in August. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour while Derek is getting things all hooked up. The camper has five slides which I think is the most amount of slides that you can have on a camper. Oh sorry, this is the only storage. That's propane, that's right. There's storage down here which Derek's opening up right now. And then same as well, this is storage and it goes all the way to the other side and then this is propane. We are so much more family oriented, less distractions from like, I don't know if it's like a larger house or what it is, but it feels like we can be just more focused on each other or even yourself. I feel like my health, like physically, I was just more motivated. It's funny, I'm in a couple forums though for full-time RVers and some people think that it's more difficult to stay in shape when you live in an RV. And I just feel like it's complete opposite because you're outside walking around a lot more. I feel more inclined to be outdoors and exercising, but other people think differently. So I would actually love to hear you guys' opinions on that in the comments. If you've ever been in an RV, went camping for a weekend or did it full time, do you feel like you were more active in it or less active living this lifestyle? Okay, Derek's getting the slides open, so I'm gonna hop inside and start showing you guys around. And then we gotta eat dinner because the kids are starving. Bingo. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Bingo. Oh. Are you oh excited? I just said it. <laughs> How excited? Super excited. You are. And this is the kids area. This is the kids area. And it has this. Yep. Like. That's your bunk beds. I get a lot of questions on where the washer and dryer is. This is where you put the washer and dryer. Um, we um, used it for a closet. Okay, okay. And the table. This is the and dining area. And this is a, clo a closet where you can put your food. Yeah, so that's and, your pantry. And up here, and it has a ladder because... Uh, He's going to show you everything, guys. Because as up here is the playroom. Is all of the playroom. Actually, and it's really, really fun. So Riker showed you those areas. I'm gonna show you the kitchen a little bit. Um, there's really good storage inside of this unit. I think Heartland is really good about having storage in all of their campers. You can actually go to um, RV shows and like see all the new campers or different models that you might be interested in. And I highly recommend going to one of those before you purchase a camper so that you can see all the cool models that Heartland makes. The camper has a oven it's a little bit smaller so you do have to get different size pans but we've got a stove with three burners microwave this is just all the storage like regular kitchen we have a full fridge which is so nice and then two freezers very good to have as well more storage i actually really like this space because this is where we put all of our junk when we didn't know where to put it 
Good counter space though up here. Here's the living room. Gosh, I don't know if the kitchen is my favorite or the living room because this is the perfect space for movie nights. How's that? It's nice. Nice. All right, back to the tour. Good storage here next to the TV with plugins. Derek's getting the Wii ready to go so we can start playing that because the kid, we leave the Wii in the camper and the kids have been dying to play it. More storage, fireplace, radio. Good to have. Big smart TV right there. <laughs> Personal preference, I wanted to make sure we had a nice big window on the side of the RV for natural lighting to come in and because I wanted to be able to look outside at the beach or wherever I'm staying at. So our camper does have a lot of windows. This window is really nice too, really big so that you can see out. This is the bathroom. Good shower, sink, oh, whoa, hold on. There we go. Storage here. Okay, here's the master bedroom. Lots of storage, like yes. I said. Pick a look. It's a mirror. a mirror. I actually use this space a lot too. Um, oh. Since the camper, there's not nightstands. I don't know how common those are, but I always have a nightstand in a traditional house. And so I actually used this as a nightstand. So when I tell Derek to get something and it was up there, I would call that the nightstand. So. And then also the whole bed lifts up, so there's storage under our king size bed. So that's nice too. There's a two air conditioners, which I actually this Florida weather is so beautiful tonight. I don't even think we need to turn on the air. Do you? No. Yes, we just, we just open a couple windows. windows. It's really nice. Beautiful out. Okay, we're gonna get some dinner going because we're hungry. And yeah, cook. You set up really fast today. I did. Good job. Thanks. Practice makes perfect, guys. All right, guys, I just finished dishes, put them away. I'm gonna hurry up and get this done so I can help the kids play the week. Time to play the Wii. Good morning. morning! We just finished up some breakfast. We went on a little walk outside and we're realizing that it's a little bit cloudy and kind of humid today and just not really ideal for a beach day. Beach, darn it. So instead, we're gonna take the kids to the zoo. We're going to the zoo, baby. Um, we've actually already got the kids loaded up in the car because we are ready to go. Um, we're just really locking up the camper real quick and then, yeah, we're gonna go to the zoo. Let's go. Let's do it. This is what I mean by cloudy. All right, we made it to the zoo. Presley took a nap on the way here. Are you so excited? Huh? Uh, yeah, mommy changed in the car. Derek's changing now. Riker's at the front. My mom and brother met us here, so we're all gonna go. He's cute. I want him at my house. Me too. He's a baby. A little baby hippo. What do you think about the giraffe? Did you see the hyenas? Yes, and the elephant we're playing. Oh, he's back out. There he is. 